Slavik on sports. Clark Anthony with the weather. This is the weekend edition of News 8. A man's body found in the San Diego Bay tonight, his hands tied behind his back. Good evening, everyone. The rest of the story remains pretty much a mystery right now. Someone on board the USS Duluth spotted the body floating in the bay, and we're told it doesn't look like a suicide. San Diego homicide detectives and the coroner arrived at the scene to begin their investigation. The cause of death and name of the dead man are still unknown at this hour. An attempted political assassination incredibly captured on videotape today. A gunman jumped out of a crowded room, his sights set on Turkey's premier, Turgut Ozil. Now see it just like you were there. Two shots fired, Ozil ducks, and his bodyguards start shooting. Ozil's bodyguards and the gunmen trotted out of the packed convention hall. Twenty people hit by bullets, none seriously hurt. The gunman was shot and captured. He's an escaped murderer, no motive for the shooting as yet. Premier Ozil saved by a microphone which deflected one of the bullets. The other sliced his thumb. An incredible sight today in Ankara. And in Northern Ireland today, six British soldiers were remembered by hundreds of friends and relatives at a special memorial service. The soldiers were killed when an IRA bomb exploded near the finish line of a charity race they were running in. Mourners also left wreaths and flowers at the site of the blast. And the goodbye was painful today for the family of little Sarah Toussaint. She was murdered early this week. Her mother's boyfriend charged with the crime. Funeral services were held today in El Cajon. Police in San Diego still on the lookout for whoever shot up a Golden Hill apartment today. Eleven shots in all were fired into this North 28th Street apartment this morning. At the time, a mother and daughter were there, and they were not hit by any of the bullets. Police have ruled out gang violence, but still don't know why it happened or who did it. Can you believe no damage was reported in an earthquake today that struck the northern Gulf of California? A quake measuring 6.6 .6 on the Richter scale. One other measurement put the quake at 6.0, the number where a quake can cause severe damage. The earthquake's epicenter was in Ometepec Bay, about 100 miles south of Calexico, California. Police and other law enforcement agencies looking for a few good men and women here in Balboa Park today call it the first San Diego County Law Enforcement Career Day. Customs, the FBI, and the Sheriff's Department are just a few of the agencies looking for men and women with the right stuff. The officers gave seminars on how to get hired with the law. If you make long-distance calls within California and you use AT&T, your bill is going down. California's Public Utilities Commission has cut those long-distance rates by 27%, beginning the 1st of July for the rest of the year. And that discount may continue next year. AT&T is saving money with its connections. That's being passed on to you. In the spirit of competition, other long-distance companies like MCI and Sprint may follow. Keen competition tonight at the San Diego Emmys. That's when local broadcasters get together for their award ceremony, a time to award Emmys to those who faced the vicious deadlines of the news business and came out on top, according to the Emmy judges. One winner tonight, News 8's Ted Leitner, a co-winner in the category Performer in News. The San Diego Emmy Awards is an annual event. Up next, Jim Baker takes a trip to his old stomping grounds, and a local group helps some needy people. We'll tell you how next. In Fox, it's a lot of car for the money. A powerful 1.8-liter fuel-injected engine is standard. So are power front disc brakes and rack and pinion steering. Now, we could have cut the standard features and offered less car for less money, but we'd never pull a stunt like that. That isn't the Volkswagen way. And takes bonds, everyday low prices. 
more buys, and unlimited double coupons, plus Vaughn's famous hot weekly specials, like the 64-ounce bottle of Downey Fabric Softener, regular or sun rinse, just $2.19. Four packs of Zest Bath Bars, buy three bars for $1.95, get the fourth one free. And a 40-count package of Bounce Fabric Softener Sheets, only $1.99. And you'll see why Vaughn's gives you the lowest take total in town. We've been hearing how bad the AIDS epidemic has become. A survey released here in San Diego today says the proof lies in our nation's hospitals. It was done by the National Association of Public Hospitals. The survey shows that a high percentage of AIDS patients is creating a shortage of hospital beds. The results presented at the conference of public hospital officials. A superior court judge has put a Chula Vista medical clinic out of business. The judge ruled that the Young Life Wellness Center was misleading folks with deceptive healing cures. The case to close the clinic began after a state female investigator submitted her own blood under a male patient's name. The clinic's report found that she suffered from an enlarged prostate. That's a male problem. Uh, speaking of comebacks, the Dodgers came mm -hmm. back against the okay. Padres today. They have not been having much success against, uh, success against our local nine, but they did today. Highlights and all the sports next. Uh, look like a first place team finally against the Padres. They got uh, good pitching, a couple home runs, beat the Padres, shut them out, 3 nothing. So Jack McKeon, who's been enjoying the view from the dugout steps for the past week or so against the Dodgers, didn't especially like what he saw today. Jeff Hamilton right here got the Dodgers' uh, first two RBIs with his home run off Eric Chow. Chow pitched all right over six innings. He really did. Did not get much support, of course. The Padres scored no runs. Got only five hits, actually, against three Dodgers pitchers. Uh, Belcher, who got the win, or Roscoe and Jay Howe, all pitched well. Kirk Gibson, home run here off Dave Leeper, his 13th of the year. He has struggled some against the Padres. The Padres got two on in the ninth, but Howe struck out Benito Santiago and Dickie Thon to end the game and to end the Padres' five-game winning streak against the Dodgers, which they started last Friday here at San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium. They'll play two tomorrow. It was a trade today to our weather, but we have a bit of serious weather news first, and that has to do with just a little bit of rain today, but still not nearly enough to stop the big drought, which has been crippling the Midwest. Today, the drought became political. United States senators standing out in the middle of a scorched wheat field in South Dakota today, all trying to figure out how they can get Washington to help. And the best advice so far has been just get everybody together and pray for rain, I guess. In San Diego, nothing nearly so severe to worry about. We are concerned, as Mitch mentioned, more with a little grunion. And uh, there is indeed a grunion run tonight. About 12, 15, 12, 20, I think they have a 10K, a two-mile fun run. <laughs> and also for those grunions who are in lousy shape, I think there's an eight-block walk as well. Those are the ones you can usually pick up for sure. Uh, and again, you have to have a fishing license if you are 16 or older, and I think Jim will have the results of the big grunion run sometime tomorrow on sports. Temperatures around the county, nothing really exciting. Mid-70s in the inland valleys, upper 60s along the coast. What is exciting this weekend, I guess, is all of the tropical moisture. We have two weather systems affecting us. Neither one of them are terribly unusual for this time of year. The usual night and morning low clouds, of course. But once they clear today, you'll probably notice we also had a lot of high clouds in Southern California. Weather system off the coast is starting to send them up, along with tropical moisture from the south. The clouds are beginning to get heavy enough that showers and thunder showers will continue to be a possibility in the mountain and desert areas, not only of Southern California, but Arizona for the next day or so. And there's the possibility that one of those sprinkles may head back toward the coastal sections, mostly again in the afternoons and evenings. Not too much chance of very much measurable precipitation, but maybe a shower or two. This moisture will continue to feed through the state of California. The north was clear today, but the Sierra Nevada could have some showers first part of the week. Let's take a look at the rest of the country. In fact, the northern parts of California were so clear we had record temperatures we'll tell you about in a moment or two. In the meantime, some scattered thunder showers over the Rockies. This is the area of the country that really needs the rain. They are not getting much so far. They got some, some thunder and lightning. In fact, they had tornadoes over the Dakotas. They don't need the violent weather. They need more of the heavy rain shower activity, which at this point just has been non-existent. All right, low clouds to clear to at least some sunshine in the afternoon. Then we will also expect the high clouds to be with us for the next couple of days. The possibility of a shower not much yet tonight, but maybe tomorrow afternoon or evening. Tomorrow's temperatures once again along the coast in the 60s and 70s, inland valleys into the 80s. A big night for the SeaWorld family celebrating the newest theme park in San Antonio, Texas with a televised party. We leave you tonight with Shamu and all of his friends flashing it up Texas style. Enjoy and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>